I'm Siobhan and this is Anglophonia. It's a show for Americans who love British stuff, Brits who love American stuff, and also Brits and Americans that hate each other but love to torture themselves with all of the tiny little frustrating differences between the US and the UK. That's what the internet is for, right? Now, I've always wondered who's smarter, Brits or Americans? Yes, we're starting with the big stuff. Some people say we Brits just sound smarter. After all, British popular culture has done a great job of promoting the idea that everybody in the UK is brilliant, or at least knows how to string a sentence of two or more clauses together, or knows what a sentence clause is. Oh. And a lot of Brits really do think that we're cleverer than Americans. Gwyneth Paltrow agrees, so argument over, right? I mean, she eats a lot of quinoa. Not so fast. What does it mean to be objectively smarter? Is it average IQ rates? Or is it the most intelligent people in each country? And what about test scores? Well, let's take a look at all of these things. The average IQ in the US is 98. The average IQ in the UK is 100. That's only a two point difference and well within any reasonable margin of error. So how do our geniuses stack up? More Americans consistently pop up on the world's highest IQ rankings list. These brainiacs include Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, television producer Rick Rosner, and Marilyn Voss Savant, commonly known as the world's smartest woman. But the US also has five times the population of the UK, so that makes statistical sense. I'm not sure that you could fairly compare and contrast geniuses from the US with great thinkers from the UK like Stephen Hawking, Sir Andrew Wiles who sold Fermat's last theorem, or Sir Tim Berners-Lee who invented the World Wide Web. And then you start getting into the whole definition of what genius is, and you cannot tell me that the Spice Girls are not up there. Where else can we look? A study in 2009 showed that US senior citizens performed significantly better in memory and cognitive function tests than old people in the UK. The average 75-year-old in the US is as mentally quick as the average 65-year-old in the UK. Oh, that reminds me, I should call my nan. But old people are our future, kids are. Back in 2012, the Organization for Economic Cooperation tested 15-year-olds across the world in reading, maths, and science. The UK beat the US across the board, with the UK coming in at 26th and the US at 36th. That is a big win for the UK there. Let's just ignore those 25 other countries that beat us. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, who is smarter and why? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes where we will take a look at who is funnier, who drinks harder, and whose accent gets the most phone numbers.